The stresses of life can take a toll on anyone, and if it's not dealt with, of course, it could lead to many health problems. But there's a new statewide initiative to directly address the mental health crisis in rural communities in Louisiana. Dr. Ashlyn Ray Harrison and Jasmine Matthews are with Southern University, and they are here with details about the Rural Connection for Rural Resilience Program. Thank both of you all for joining us this morning. Mental health is such a big issue in any state across the country, actually. So I'm going to start with you, Dr. Ashton. Just tell us a little bit about this program and why you all just started to uh, do it. Yes, so our Rural Connections for Rural Resilience is a program that's going to be for all Louisianians across the state to address the barriers that rural Louisianians face on not being able to access mental health. So we're providing free teletherapy services through this program. We're gonna tap out and go into these areas to where they don't have access. And I don't know if y'all know this, but about 30% of people that live in rural areas are actually more likely to have suicidal deaths. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we not only address this barrier, but we start meeting them where they are. And I know, uh, you know, when you all sent out the press release, you all mentioned that specifically about farmers and things like that. Do you kind of know, I guess, the reason behind you all, I guess, are targeting farmers and the need for them to get help when it comes to mental health? Yes, so the farming community is actually one that is oftentimes not tapped into, especially when it comes to mental health. So we want to make sure that we provide the service to them because oftentimes dealing with the changes of the weather, things like that, the uncertainties, the barriers that they may face on the day to day and the strenuousness of their jobs, we need to make sure that we provide these services to them as well. Especially because it's farmers, you know, with the inflation going up. And then like you mentioned with the weather, you know, we mm -hmm. had a drought last year. Yes. So of course they don't necessarily sometimes know how they're going to support their families. So when it comes to you, Miss Matthews, just how can people actually sign up for this? Are there any, any type of requirements that people need if they want these counseling services? Yes, absolutely. So um, you just visit us at www.suagcenter.com. Look for the flyer that's on the screen and just fill out the registration form. It's very simple, very easy. You just have to be 18 years or older to sign up. Just 18 years and older to sign up. And I know you all started this program on October 1st, but how long is it gonna go? We're gonna go all the way to July, 2025. So they're gonna be in two month increments. So the, the individual will receive uh, two months of free counseling up to eight sessions with a licensed counselor. All the sessions are confidential. Everything is going to be kept private and it's all through teletherapy. All through teletherapy so yes. you can just do it from the comfort from of your home. Comfort of your home. But I do just want your reaction, Miss Matthews, on just, I guess, the benefit of just the importance of this program. So this is important because, um, especially in the rural communities, like Dr. Ashland just said, there are not a lot of mental health um, professionals that are offering these type of services. Sometimes we know that the rural community face a lot of different health barriers compared to other areas. Mm -hmm. So there could be limited clinicians in the areas. There could be um, long drives to get to actual health facilities. So because this group faces so many different barriers, we're doing our part at the Southern University Ag Center to close that gap.